All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Melstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, Sincere Akiyam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And Shalom to the few Sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And it's going to be, um, it shouldn't be too long. I got a couple scriptures that I wanted to bring out. And um, the main scripture that I, I wanted to go into was uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 10. All right. And um, the main point of this lesson is, um, you know, it's a quick exhortation for the sincere Akiyam and the few uh, sincere Akwath that are out there uh, pushing, fighting, striving along the straight gate to the kingdom. All right. I know it's not a, the straight gate um, we know is a is a position of difficulty. A straight is a narrow a passage of water, S T R A I T, and that's what it is. This thing, I mean, it's an easy thing, in, in the grand scheme of things, because um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is doing the heavy lifting, and we were predestined. I don't want to write this out. We be of that number, from the foundation of the earth, you know, to receive salvation. I don't want to write this out. We we be we, you know that's what we hope. We're part of the hopeful elect, right? But you know. It's easier said than done. We know our adversary Esau, uh, well Esau is our adversary, but first and foremost, the spiritual demon Satan, he had, he, you know, you know, when you read Job, he made a bet with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, and uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai let uh, Satan get at Job, man. And, you know, he, he, he Job uh, fell into all manner of hell, man, all manner of, uh, <laughs> grievous circumstances you know he lost his he lost his wealth he lost his health you know he lost his wife he lost his um his children you know but throughout all of it job did what he kept his integrity he kept his faith his trust in yahweh bashim yahweh shai but satan has a job to do satan we know is a um an angel of the lord on the left hand side he does the bidding of yahweh bashim yahweh shai and Satan's job is to test you, to try you, to tempt you, you know. But if we be of the whole, we be of that that number, the elect. Hey, man, there's nothing. Hey, nothing can happen to us unless Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai wants us to happen to us. And we know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not going to tempt us more than we can bear. Okay, which I got them scriptures, but I'm just you know, you know, you know, just hitting a couple points before I go in, go into the lesson. Um, yeah, but Satan, Satan has a job to do it. And that, that job is to tempt us, to test us, to, to frustrate us. And, you know, and see, Satan works chiefly through, uh, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, our number one adversary, you know, but also through people, you know, through your woman, through your child, through your children, my bad, your, your children, your coworkers, your family members, Satan, um, also plays on your mind, you know. It's a fight. That's the condition of the battle. You know, we got to we got to fight, fight the good fight of faith, man. You know, you know, contend for the faith, strive for the faith. But in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's, you know, it's a light affliction. It's but it's just a light affliction. But in the heat of the battle, sometimes, you know, you know, it feels like, you know, you can't, you know, <laughs> you get overwhelmed sometimes. And that's when you got to go back to the source code, you know, go back to the comforter, the scriptures, the word. How about you, Yahweh Shai, the spirit that comes with this book, you know, that's where you rest at. That's the point of this lesson. You rest in the scriptures. You rest in the word. You rest with your how about you, Yahweh Shai, you know, you know, his men, the men, you know, first and foremost, through the word, the, the, you know, the, the, the Yahweh about you, Yahweh Shai sucks with you through the word. He, you know, he, he works on your mind. He comforts you, you know, and also his men, you know, his men, you know. You might you, you watch a lesson and it'll be right on point because man's goings of the Lord. It's a, it's a perfect algorithm to get you where you need to go, you know, you know, 
So anyway, that's the point. Enough of me blibbity blabbing. I don't want to write this out. That made sense. But yeah, a quick exhortation. Hey, man, this is not our rest, man. We, we weren't brought here to make it, to just kick back and to be lamping and, you know, chilling, maxing and relaxing. That's that's not why we're here. We're here to, you know, to repent, to consider our ways, you know, and seek the Lord while he may be found, to fight, fight the good fight of faith. That's the condition of the battle, to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, you know. We weren't, we weren't brought here to rest, you know. We'll rest in the kingdom, you know. Right now, we got to fight. We got to contend, you know. Whatever, whatever's thrown at us, we got to, you know, we got to overcome it. So this is uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 10. And I got the blue letter on because I want to look up the word rest. And we know it straight to the point. Uh, Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. This place is polluted, man. This world is polluted. This is a wicked ass world, man. You know? <sighs> And uh, again, you're constantly being bombarded with, you know, you're constantly being bombarded with wickedness. You're constantly seeing wickedness, man, hearing wickedness. You know, Esau, Edom is constantly attacking you, you know, through the through the music, you know, you know, through, through the uh, f different frequencies it's pumping out in the air, in the airwaves, you know, you know, he, you're constantly being bombarded, you know, you know, tested and tried and. Pull, you're being constantly being pulled, man. You know, but we got to, we got to, we got to stay on that straight path, that that narrow path to salvation. You know, you know what keeps us stable? This wisdom and knowledge keeps us stable. You know, it's the stability, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hold fast to your how much how shy his words, man. It's the comforter and the spirit that comes with it. It's the comforter, man. You know, again, Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sore destruction. So if you stop fighting, you give in to the flesh, you give in to this world, guess what? You're going to be destroyed. Okay? And we don't want that, man. You know, we want we want to be found blameless in the sight of the Lord. We want to, you know, we want to do all we can to be found blameless in that day. You know, that's quickly approaching the day of judgment. OK, so um, I just wanted to look up the word rest in a blue letter real quick. This is uh, Strong's H4496. Right. And it's for rest. It says, remember, it said this is not your rest. This place is polluted. Right. It will destroy you with a sore destruction. When you look up the word rest, it says rest in place, rest, uh, rest in place, rest, quietness. Cause that's really what Jake Jake wants, man. Jake just want a little a little ease, a little you know, a little peace and quiet, you know. But that hey, that's not what we're here for, you know. We're supposed to be frustrated. We're supposed to be angry, angry and sin not, you know. You know it, it, that way we go. The, you know the more we're frust we're frustrated and we're we're you know we're you know we 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 seek the Lord even more. We pray harder. We you know we we fight harder. You know. If if you're if if you're um resting and you're you're kicked back and you're relaxed, you're not gonna be on fire for the Lord. You know, you're gonna be like, Oh, we could be here another ten, fifteen years. No, nah, we no, nah, we wanna get out of here yesterday, you know what I'm saying? And that's why the Lord, you know, stirs us up to keep us on our P's and Q's and you know, keep that fire in us, man. You know? So um let me bang out these scriptures. I don't wanna make this too long again, like I said. Uh, just a quick reminder, because we all going through it, man. We all catching hell, and and you know, and each 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 brother or each sister's uh, cross is catered to themselves, man. You know, only you can walk in them shoes, man. And it's a perfect fit for you to get you to the kingdom. I don't want to write this out. You keep enduring, you know. So uh, again, I brought out already Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This ain't your quiet place. This, you know, this, this, you, you know, this is, this is hell, man. Hell, on, we're in hell. Esau, Edom, and two thirds uh, of our own people, they're in their heaven. This is their world. But um, you know, what was Lot? Lot was vexed with the fil you know, righteous Lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Everything in this world, you know, aggravates us, man, because we hate wickedness. You know, we hate oppression. We hate lying, and, and you know, we, you know, we hate this world, and it, it, it's rightfully so. And that's why we go hard, man. 
We go hard. We we constantly sign cry to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to to redeem us and destroy this place, and, and and you know set righteousness in the earth, man. You know we're constantly, you know, giving supplication, um, putting Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in remembrance, man, to the promise that He made to our forefathers, man. You know, you know, daily, you know. Again, Micah two and ten: Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. That's the point. Um, but how do we rest? We rest with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We rest in the word. We rest in these scriptures, man. You know? This is Isaiah 28. The main point is in 12. I'm going to start in 9. Isaiah 28 and 9. Main point is in 12. Whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk. And drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, line upon line, hear a little, there a little. That's how you go through the scriptures. You know, you, you hear a little, there a little, you flip around. And what happens is the Lord works on Yahweh Bachim Yahweh Shai works on your mind. He sups with you. You know, you, you reading, you know, and it, it'd, be, it'd be right on time, man. You, you're going through something or you, you know, you're battling something, and, and, a, and a precept just comes to you, man. And you're reading and the precept just hits you. You know what I'm saying? And then what happens also, more precepts start coming to you. Here a little, there a little. You know, that's how that's how the Lord works, man. You know, you, you, he hits you with one precept and another precept comes to you, you know, that, that just, you know, solidifies his point right on time. You know, it says, for precept must be upon, pre again, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Blessed is he that readeth. You got to read, man. You got to be reading. You know, praying, fasting, putting on as the elect, you know. Again, whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk. And sometimes, you, you know, you, get, you don't be trying to go too deep sometimes, man. You go too deep, you drown yourself. Milk does a body good. The milk precepts are, are a lot of times are the foundation scriptures, man. You know, you know, milk is good for the body, man. You know, the milk precepts be, be right on point, man, you know. And drawn from the breast, for precept must be upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people. This is the main point. To whom he said, this is the rest. Because this world, this world ain't the rest. This this ain't it. You know, we rest in the scriptures. We rest in Yahweh B'Shem Shai. We rest in the word. You know? Yahweh B'Shem Shai's word is bond. He's not a man that he shall lie. He said it, it's going to come to pass. We just got to hold fast. We got to wait, endure, be patient, suffer, you know. Elder Apostle Tahar said you got to learn to love to suffer, you know. To whom he said, this is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. Because we're weary, man. You know, we worn out, man, you know, from between the spiritual demon Satan and this world. You know, it's, it wears you out, you know. But how do you get the, the recharge? Going back to the source code, the source. How about you? How was shy? The rivers of living water, you know, to whom he said, this is the rest wherewith you may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing. We get refreshed. We, our minds get renewed, you know, you know, yet they would not hear two thirds of our own people. They don't, they, you know, they don't get it. They don't understand the, the benefits of this word and being obedient, you know. But the word of the Lord, Yahweh, was unto them precept upon precept Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they may go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. You see? So that's the point. There's no excuse. You got all the tools to, to, to overcome. Yahweh Shahim Mashiach has already got the victory. He overcame death. He, over, he overcame the devil. You know? So we got hey, we got all the tools we need to, to get the victory. We just got to endure. You see? <laughs> A couple more and I, I close out straight to the points. Um, again, to hit drill the point, this is not our rest, man. Uh, Baruch chapter 4, the main point is in 6, but I'll start at 3. It says, Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Give not your strength to, to, to this world, man, to Esau, Edom, to women. You know, give your strength, give give your heart, your mind, your soul, your body. You know, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, doing the things pleasing unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
seek the kingdom and everything else will be added unto you. You know, we're in the world, of course, but what did Paul say? Using the world, not abusing it. You know, our heart is set on, on high, man. You know, you know. So it says, O Israel, Yasharallah, happy are we, the hopeful elect. You know, we got the good news. You know, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known unto us, the elect of Israel. The, re the, the elect have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. It says, be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. That's what Zion means, monument, right? It says, just the main point, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved Yahweh to wrath. Ye you were delivered unto the enemies. So we're supposed to, you know, consider that, you know? And then and that once we consider that, we have now a, a broken and contrite spirit. And that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai requires, you know? It humbles us, you know, and it makes us go harder in the paint, you know. You know, all our righteousness is as filthy rags. We deserve death. The Wadi Haubashim for, Yahushai for, for having mercy upon us and giving us this truth and, and, you know, still allowing us to fight the good fight of faith. It says, you were sold to the nation. Yeah, again, this is not our rest. We'll rest in the kingdom, you know. It says, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved Yahweh to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. It says, for you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils, following the ways of the heathen, worshiping their gods, you know. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to Yahweh. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. You see? For when she... That's the point. That's the point. That's the why, that's why we're in the conditions that we're in. You know? Not to destroy us, but for us to consider our ways. And repent and turn back to the Heavenly Father. You know? You know? You know? Gotta learn to love to suffer. We deserve it. We deserve death. We deserve worse. You know? But the good news is our redemption is nigh. This is our last bid. We're never, ever going to be in this condition again. You know, affliction shall not rise a second time. You know, this devil is through. You know, the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. You know, we're finally going to be able to rest, baby. You know, but we got to fight. We got to fight. You know, continue to fight. Endure. He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. This is Ecclesiasticus. We know him. We know, the, like I said, milk does a body good. Foundational scriptures, man. You know. Lean not upon thy own understanding. Don't give in to the flesh, to, to them thoughts in your mind, them demons. That's Satan <coughs> testing you. Just as he tempting you. Just as he Satan tempted our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. He played on his mind. But what how did Yahweh Shai combat Satan? He combated him with the word, the precepts. You know? That's what you gotta do. We gotta do. Fight, you know, in our minds, you know, with them precepts. You know, and don't just be a hearer of the word, but a doer, you know. Ecclesiasticus chapter two, verse one, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord out of one, prepare thy soul for temptation. It's inevitable. No escaping it. You're going to get tested. You're going to get tried. It's the condition of the battle. You know, Satan got a job to do to get you out of this truth, to sift you out of here. You know, but we ain't going to allow that to happen. I don't want to We're going to give it our all. You know, it says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord out of one, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright. And we know the heart is your what the Hebrew word for heart is lob is your mind. So get your mind right. You know, prepare your mind, you know, fortify your mind with what these precepts, you know, set thy heart aright and constantly endure patient. Be patient, man. The patience and the faith of the saints learn to suffer, learn to love it. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Yeah, don't be looking for a way out, man. You know, don't be, you know, hey, you got to go through that battle, man. Don't be trying to, you know, that's the chastening of the Lord. You know, it is what it is. It's the refining process. It's getting out all them impurities. It's hardening you, you know, gird up thy loins like a man. I will require it of thee, you know, put off that weak nature, you know. You know, the Lord is looking for soldiers, man. You know, it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. 
Hey, in the time of trouble, we ain't really even seen the trouble yet. All hell ain't broken loose yet. You know, Jacob's trouble. That's the real, you know, that's the real test. Our temptation. That's the real, you know, you know, we ain't going through nothing yet, which I'm going to bring out. We have not resisted unto blood yet. You know, you know. So it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. It says, cleave unto him who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, man. Because why? Who the Lord who the Lord loveth thee chasteneth. I got that on deck also. Whatsoever, whatever you're going through, hey, hey man, that's just a um count yourself um be thankful, man. That's just a, you know, that's a sliver of the cup that you how about your Mirror Shai had to drink. You know, you just drinking a, a sip of it. You know, you know, it says whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state for gold. That's what we're becoming, baby gold. When the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach returns and he makes up his jewels, we'll be part of them jewels, man. We'll be shining, you know, for gold is tried in the fire, the fire. That's what we're going through. We're going through the fire now so that we don't have to go through the fire at the end, you know. We're getting purified now so that we don't have to get purified at the end. We're not going to experience that death by pain that two thirds of our own people going to going to experience because they refuse to get right now. You know, we're getting right now, man. The Lord is getting us right now by chastening us, you know, <laughs> for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. It says, believe in him. That's what faith goes into trust. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, Adawan, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall. You know, you fall out of the truth. You fall out of the uh, off the path, the straight path to the kingdom, the narrow path to the kingdom, into the broad, the broad path that leadeth to destruction. The Lord said, Woe to you that lost patience. You know, you know, what will ye do when the Lord visits you? You know. We, you know, we got to endure. We got to take it cheerfully, you know, fight the good fight. Ye that fear the Lord, I wait for his, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. It says, ye that fear the Lord, I believe him and your reward shall not fail. And you can read the whole thing, but, but that's the whole point. You can read the whole thing. Again, I don't want to make this too long. Um, two more and I'll close out. Um, first Corinthians 10 and... Okay, straight to the point, 10 and 13. It says, there have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. Yeah, you ain't going through nothing that another brother or another sister hasn't already gone through or is going through. And it could always be worse. It always it could always be much worse. All right? You know, so we got to we gotta get out of that woe is me spirit, that weak, effeminate nature, man. The Lord is looking for soldiers. You know, you know, it's the condition of the battle. It says... There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Again, in the grand scheme of things, it's a light affliction. Yahweh Shai said, my yoke is light. You know, it ain't, it ain't that hard, man. You know, you know, it seems like it's the end of the world when you're going through the fire. But when you, when you get through it, you be like, man, it wasn't that bad. You know, and you appreciate when you look back. Hindsight, hindsight is twenty twenty. You know, when you through it, you can you can see clearly. You know, once you get through it, you know. So you gotta just have faith, keep pushing, keep that trust, and you how about you? How shy? Do the things, seek the kingdom, and everything else will be added unto you. You know. You know. Again, First Corinthians ten and thirteen. It says, "There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man." But Yahweh is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you're able. He's not going to put more on your plate than you can eat. You know, it says, but with but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So the Lord is not going to take it from you because you got to go through that fire. You got to get refined, you know, but guess what? He's going to be he's going to make a way for you to bear it, to handle it, get through it, you know. You know, get through the other end, the other side of it. You know, you know. 
So I'm going to close out here. I don't want to rot the Zod. made sense and it came together. You know, again, this is not our rest, man. You know, our rest, our, our rest is coming in the kingdom, you know. But right now, how do we rest? We rest through the comforter, through the scriptures, through this word, you know, you know, you know. We rest in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, in this truth, this thing of ours. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 12 uh, and 4. Ye have not resisted unto blood striving against sin. It's like ye have not yet because that day is coming, man. Some of us are going to be martyrs to our temptation. Revelation 12 and 12. This devil is about to come down with great wrath knowing that he had but a short time when he makes this karagma, this RFID CHIP mandatory. Jacob trouble, all hell breaks loose. It's famine, martial law, sedition in the streets, you know, race wars, class wars, you know. That's going to be the true test. You know, you know, so right now we ain't really going through nothing yet, man. You know, you know, and we're going to, and all this is just building us up so that we'll be able to stand in that time. You know, you know, that the wall will be around us. I don't want to rot this eye. We'll be exempt from judgment. You know, you know, so it says, ye have not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, Adawan. Okay, again, my son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, Adawan, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord, Adawan, loveth, he chasteneth. It's an honor. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Shai for giving us a sip of this cup. You know? For whom the Lord, Adawan, loveth, he chasteneth. He's refining you, he's getting you right. You know, so that you'll be blameless in that day. And scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, Yahweh dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, wherefore are all partakers, then are ye bastards and not son, not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which have corrected us, your physical, actual father corrected you, chastised you, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, and live? For they verily, for they verily, for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit. Yeah, he's not just you know, chastising us just to be wicked or evil. He's doing it to get us right. For it's for our benefit. You know, it's, it's purifying us. That will be that way. We'll be able. It's hardening us. That way, we'll be able to stand in the time to come if we endure. You know, if we trust the process. For they verily, for a few days, chasten us after their own pleasure. But he, Yahushim Shai, for our profit. You know. When he comes to gather us and make up his jewels, you know, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now, no chastising, no chastening for the present seem to be joyous. Again, when you're going through that fire, you don't feel good, you know, <laughs> but hindsight is twenty twenty. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness Unto, unto them which are exercised thereby. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down and feeble knees. Get up, take, put off that effeminate, weak nature, that woe is me spirit, and make straight paths for your feet, lest with that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. That's the point, you know, you see? And you can read the whole thing, but that's the point, man. Hey, man, keep pushing, keep fighting, man. Our redemption is nigh. That's the good news. You know, this is this is our last bid, man. You know, you know, the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. And all this hard work, and it ain't really hard work, but, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things. But, you know, for the lack of better words, all this hard work we're, we're, go, we're putting in now, you know, along, traveling along this straight path, the straight gate to the kingdom. Hey, man, it's going to be so it's going to be worth it. You know, when when that the war is around you, when you see all these people catching purity hell, but you how much how shy is with you, you know, with his men, with his the the few aquath, you know, 
But no evil comes nigh our dwelling. No plague, no pe pestilence. You know, when we get beamed up and we see the reward of the wicked, you know, you know, we're going to praise the Lord. We're going to thank the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, hey man, <laughs> redemption is nigh. Keep pushing, keep fighting. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babal. Kwam Yasharala.